Mate, over here is when I won the championship. Back in 1985, we got a phone call from a bloke in Korea. It was three o'clock in the afternoon, the phone went off. He said, hello, hello, I'd like to speak to Mr. Estella's manager for all title fight. And I, like I said, I ran into Keith, he was in the bar. I said, Keith, quick, mate, we'll title fight. He goes, oh, bullshit, hang up. So I hanged up the phone. Then Jeff went and contact, contacted Keith about a week later. He said, why haven't you answered the phone? He said, well, it wasn't real. And then they uh, got the contracts together, they organised it in Cosita and his, his boys got, got, on, got on our side and promoted the fight. And they ended up winning, winning it over 15 rounds on points. So I was wrapped, I was, I was only 19 and to be champ of the world was a big buzz. I, I, um, I, never, I only ever dreamed of becoming a world champion and I didn't walk around thinking I was a world champion. I just said one day I want to win something big, you know, I don't know what, but I want to win something big. And when I got the chance at Wine Kill You, I, I decided to go into a training camp and Keith agreed and we went to Backers Marsh. And uh, we stayed there for some six weeks, just drinking water, eating porridge, vegetables, salads, fruit, that was it. I just realised I got the, uh, this round 11. Yeah. I realised I got a, one of my toe, because I was moving to the right, I put brand new boots on. It was rubbing against the canvas mm. and I had a blister that thick, that big, on my right toe. Yeah. And it was killing me here. I, I was lucky, I fought 14 South with 14 knockouts. That never threw me off balance. I didn't care, I liked it like that. <laughs> What's a big deal? Right hand, left rear, bang. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's awkward. Yeah. Well, it's awkward. This is this, the shot, yeah. bang it. Yeah. Uh, I was, I was so a bit, um, I was pumped. But Two, I had three people giving me advice, you know what I mean? I don't like that. I like one in, one in the corner talking to me calmly. If I get hurt or something goes wrong, well, still talk calmly, don't freak out, don't panic. I'll come back from the dead a couple of times. It's not a big deal. Don't freak out. I keep just saying, move around, mate, pick no, nice fire, pick your punches, nice fire shots. Daniel's going, hit that fucker, man. Back him up, that fucker. You're going to be champion in fucking eight, nine minutes, man. Last night I slept for the first time. I reckon I had about 10 dreams about the fight. One, one dream I lost, one dream I won, one dream it was a duel, one dream I took the belt off and I gave it back to him and I said I lost. It's funny dreams. Just unbelievable. And so you wake up in the morning and you finally saw the belt sitting there on the table. I wake up in the morning, where is it? Oh, I got it. <laughs>